This is not new in the world. There have been terrible wars, there have been natural calamities, there have been pandemics also. But when these things happened, a few people rose to their heights, to the best possible way a human being can be. A few people slithered down to the lowest possible level they could be. This is always the case. But it's my wish that in this generation, when our ability to communicate with the world is like never before, it'll be great if majority of the population rises to the occasion and does their best. What is the worst that can happen to us? I'm worst case scenario, I'm telling you. This will not happen, other things will happen before that. The worst case scenario is, we may end up living how we were living here about twenty-five years ago. When I say twenty-five years ago, for example, if you take the yoga center as an example, how were we living here twenty-five years ago? Let me take it two years further back, twenty-seven years ago. In the same month of June, we moved in here and uh, it was... that was one of the heaviest monsoons we have seen. At this time of the year, see how calm it is now, winds were blowing like sixty, seventy kilometers per hour here on the ground. In the mountain, it was uh, blowing at hundred and ten, hundred and twenty kilometers per hour. As I've told you earlier, I think about twelve people were blown off the mountain. They went to the peak and they were just blown off by the wind and they died. So, uh, all we had was just one hut which we called Kaivalya Kutir, real Kutir it was. And about twelve bathrooms only for the ladies to use, men were going into the forest. Well, still uh, we very blissfully did our sadhana and everything. One night, uh, I had a small room outside of this hut, about six, sixty-eight participants and maybe about eight to ten volunteers, all sleeping in this one single hut. I have a room. And the wind is howling in the night around 1.30 a.m. I just woke up and uh, <clears throat> I saw wind was howling, I looked out of the window, all the trees were looking this way. <laughs> then I looked out at the hut, I could not see, I took my torch and flashed it. Then I saw the, the entire Kaivalya Kutir was at this angle. Then I got up and ran. I ran into the hut where all these people, over seventy-two or seventy-four people were sleeping, or more than that, about seventy-five, seventy-six people were sleeping. And all of them were sleeping peacefully. <laughs> Outside the wind is howling and blowing at a great speed. And then I try to shout at them, nobody hears. Then I turn on the lights <laughs> because the sadhana was like that during the day. <laughs> they could sleep through a cyclone <laughs> So then I have to shake everybody and wake them up and scream at them and get... Come outside, let's fix this thing because this may just collapse on the people. So there were guy wires which were like uprooted because of the wind force. So in the night around 2 a.m., we work for about three hours to straighten up the hut. Using uh, the only jeep we had at that time to pull the hut back into place 
because it was going at that speed, the wind, none of us could actually... If all of us got together, we could still not pull it. So, we used a jeep in that rain, slipping all over the place, and all this was happening. One tree collapsed. It's okay, I have audience coming <laughs> in the rooftop. Look at the interest in the darshan. <laughs> For those of you who are not here, the monkeys are on the roof. <laughs> so, uh, a tree fell where we were working and uh, fortunately nobody was badly injured, only one person was hit, that too not very badly. It was okay, in a couple of days he recovered. Then we knew uh, next day we couldn't stay there in that hut because it was precariously balanced. So we had to do some structural changes, but we didn't want to stop the sadhana. So we went up the mountain, where there is a... there are a, f uh, a few small caves, which could barely accommodate about eight to ten people. It was pouring rain, day and night. Three days we stayed there. Every day, morning, 5.30, Guru Puja, sadhana, entire day, class. Well, you couldn't speak much because it was howling, the winds and raining. But the sadhana was kept up, no one flat place, everybody is sitting in all kinds of places. Only thing we had to eat was, we were just frying green gram and eating for these three days. But everything went on. So that's how it was twenty-seven years ago.